What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, usually I've been trying to get right into the commentary, but today we're going to have to take a little tiny break in the beginning just to mention a couple of things. Now, I am going to be going away, so when it comes to live streams, we're going to have absolutely nothing up live on Tuesday. And Wednesday, instead of doing our typical early stream, since I'm still going to be gone, I'm going to be coming home that day, I'm going to start a late stream for once in my life. I want to see if a late stream actually performs pretty well over on the Twitch channel. So if you guys want to be a part of that, Wednesday, probably around 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, we will be going live, and we're actually going to be testing out the new Hell Let Loose update, so we're going to see what's going on with that. I think it's going to be a brand new map being introduced, I believe, and also, you know, a few tweaks, minor changes, and stuff like that, the usual update fixes, so we're going to give that a go on Wednesday, but don't worry, even though I'm going to be leaving, uh, videos, obviously, on the YouTube channel are all recorded. I make sure I get that stuff out on a daily basis, so it's going to be no skips on the YouTube videos, but just on the live streams. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be completely honest here. The last thing that I thought that would save the Battlefield franchise from complete utter failure would be a battlefield 3 reality mod but surprise surprise this right here is truly going to be the savior for a lot of individuals now sadly this is not on console whatsoever so it's only going to be for the pc players but with all honesty i feel like battlefield really does shine a lot on pc especially when it comes to the old school classics tons of people used to play them and honestly battlefield 3 isn't even that hard to run so even if you have the worst low end pc you could probably get this mod up and running as long as you have battlefield 3 along with all of the dlc as well now, sadly for me, I've been having an absolute pain in the butt trying to get this up and running, so I don't have any personal gameplay. I do want to go ahead and thank the devs, because they did offer me an invite to go ahead and get early access footage, but like I said, I've been just running into non-stop problems when it comes to Battlefield on my PC for the longest time now. I mean, Battlefield 5 completely black screens every single time I load into a game. Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 claim that I don't have Punk Buster installed. Now, that I just recently was able to fix, thanks to one of the homies, Jordan, over on the Twitch channel. Thank you so much again for the help, bro. I really do appreciate it. I've looked through some so many different videos trying to figure out how to fix Punk Buster, and he finally found the perfect one that finally fixed all my problems. So now I can finally log into Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2. But the problem that I'm having now is the DLC. Now, I, 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 it's just never-ending problems, man, and I want to play this so bad because, like I said, I've been studying it. I've been looking at tons of gameplay, tons of reviews. It looks absolutely phenomenal. But now the issue that I'm running into is that I went ahead, I bought the uh, the Game Pass because I heard that Game Pass has Battlefield 3 Premium. So I went ahead and purchased Game Pass because it's much cheaper than paying, you know, like 40 bucks to get Premium any other way for all the map packs. So I went ahead and did that. I got all the DLCs and they won't install. They, they, they just literally won't install. And I've tried absolutely everything. I mean, I completely uninstalled Origins, uninstalled Battlefield 3 on Origins, so it would just completely start fresh. You know, no folders of Battlefield 3, no past information on Battlefield 3, just start from scratch. Then I go on to Game Pass, install everything. It would install Battlefield 3. None of the DLC would come along with it. So that's not working. So obviously, I uninstall everything on EA Play. I uninstall the EA app. I uninstall Battlefield 3 again. I go back to Origins. I start loading it back up. And since I have Game Pass, it gives me the DLC. So I try to download the DLC on Origins, everything works besides the end game. Oh man, if anybody has any solutions, it would be so appreciated because I am going nuts here. I mean, I spent about two, three days, multiple hours just sitting here, just troubleshooting the same exact process over and over and over again, and I can't get it to work. But this video isn't about my issues. This video is about how awesome and outstanding this mod is and how much work and time these developers have put into this project. They have put five years of development into making sure that they can completely basically overhaul Battlefield 3 as a whole and put their own little twist on it. Now, it is still completely Battlefield 3. You're going to log into this and it's going to feel similar. It's going to look similar. You know, it's Battlefield 3. But the things that they changed to the overall experience of Battlefield 3 are just phenomenal and it really does turn it into pretty much a milsim. Now, the inspiration from this mod actually came from Battlefield 2 Project Reality, but for me personally, I never played that, so the best thing that I can really compare this to is a game like Hell Let Loose or a game like Squad. Basically, they turned, you know, Battlefield 3, which is, you know, Battlefield, in my personal opinion, has always been a perfect middle ground between a milsim and an arcade shooter. It always took all these milsim aspects, but at its core, it was always an arcadey game, you know? When I hop into Battlefield, yes, strategy is important, yes, teamwork is extremely crucial, but at the end of the day, you know, people always run around and do their own thing. I mean, Battlefield is notorious for seeing medics not even play medics people just pick medic in battlefield games just to give themselves their own health so they keep their streaks going on right that's what battlefield is always about but basically the developers behind this mod took that battlefield formula and just completely turned it into a milsim completely team-based very realistic when it comes to gunshots you know actually engaging in gunfights and strategy is going to be extremely crucial not just for your survival but also to win the overall game 
And the developers over on their website actually go into their key features on the biggest changes about this mod compared to the original Battlefield 3. First off being the UI and gameplay, completely reworked gameplay and UI. Aim for more tactical team play compared to Battlefield 3. The Frostbite engine, immersive atmospheric visuals, Frostbite engine's destruction, VFX, and physics. Large-scale battles, 100-plus players on a serve. That's fantastic. In-game VoIP, multiple in-game radio channels, including positional audio, custom content, new textures, models, maps, game modes, etc., and dynamic visual environments, dynamic weather elements, and 24 hours day-night cycles. All of this stuff is fantastic because, like I said, they're taking Battlefield 3, which is already one of my favorite Battlefield games in the whole world. I mean, the game alone is just perfection, and they are enhancing it to make it even more realistic and even more immersive than it already was in the beginning. But one of the things that excites me the most about this mod is that it's a mil sim that's on a engine that already works perfectly fine, that's outstanding, that is modern day, and it's in a battlefield timeline. I absolutely love everything about this mod because the only other ways that you can try out a mil sim experience are either in squad or hell let loose. Now, Hell Let Loose is a World War II shooter. Nothing wrong with that, but I feel like people get a little tired of World War II games after a certain amount of time. Modern Day, on the other hand, I, I gotta say, I love Modern Day shooters. They never get old to me. I mean, I'm still going back and playing games like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and tons of other Modern Day titles. You know, Battlefield 3, Battlefield Bad Company 2, now that I got Punk Buster working. They're always fantastic, Battlefield 4, right? You guys understand what I'm trying to say here. But the problem with the Milsim genre is that there's not many games out there besides, you know, things like Squad or Arma, which, one, are already an extremely high price tag. We're talking about 40 to 60 bucks per each game. And two, they're all stupidly complex. So when someone sees a game that's, you know, going for 60 bucks, but it's really hard to understand and get into, people are a little iffy with trying out that genre, you know? And that's why the Milsim genre struggles a little bit. That's why it's hard to get the genre completely out there to the public, to the casuals, because it's way too many steps for them to want to understand and to, you know, follow. Now, I will say once you get into the games, it's much easier to get a grasp on it. But the problem is getting people into that mindset, getting them through the front door so they can finally begin to grasp the concept. And having a 40 to $60 price tag ahead of that curve is not helpful helpful whatsoever. But Battlefield 3, if you already have this game owned and you have all the DLCs, and like I said, even if you don't have the DLCs, you can do exactly what I did and get Game Pass for $1. The first month is a buck, and then you can instantly cancel it afterwards if you don't enjoy what this reality mod has to offer. But you can go ahead and get Battlefield 3, you can get Battlefield 3 with all the DLCs for a singular dollar, or if you already have the game installed with all the DLC, because like I said, this is going to be for a lot of hardcore Battlefield fans as well, and a lot of hardcore Battlefield fans already have Battlefield 3 along with all the DLC. It's as easy as just going on their website and downloading the browser, because it is completely free at that point. So those are your two options. You can go ahead and just download the browser for free, or if you don't have the game at all and you want to give it a shot and you have a PC, get Game Pass for one singular dollar, try it for a month, download the browser, and go ahead and give it a go. Trust me, my situation is just my situation, right? You guys, it'll probably be much easier to download all the DLC and all that other stuff. It's just me running into those problems. And again, like I said a couple of minutes ago, it's not just the price tag that pushes people away from trying out Milsims, it's also the experience and understanding and learning how to play them. It's a learning curve, you know, and it's not going to be easy for people to understand. But if you put them into a Battlefield environment, something that they already do understand, something like Battlefield 3, it's a lot simpler to understand what these Milsims are all about, and it'll be a lot less stressful for someone to hop into the experience and think that they're messing things up for their team or screwing around. I think that's one of the main reasons why people don't hop into games like Squad, Arma, and Hell Let Loose. They're worried that they're going to ruin the experience for others instead of just focusing on trying to make the experience better for themselves. And, you know, you do run into those situations. There are some assholes out there who will, you know, accuse you of ruining their team, you know, their team playing crap like that because you're doing something wrong and you're a noob in the server. Forget that nonsense, man. Forget that nonsense. Hop into the experience. Give it a try. It's Battlefield 3. It's, it's Battlefield in general. Even if you didn't play Battlefield 3 before and you play Battlefield 4, if you play Battlefield Hardline, it's Battlefield. Now, yes, they did change the gameplay and some of the mechanics and stuff like that. They did mess around with the maps and all that good stuff. But, like I said, down to its core, you could still feel the inner battlefield in this title. And that is fantastic for new players coming into the Milsim genre. Because they'll be able to experience something brand new while it still feels 
a bit similar so they can get the grasp on it faster than they would if they hopped into armor or squad or hell let loose or something of that sort. All in all, I have to give these developers props. They single-handedly saved the whole Battlefield franchise at this point, at least for the PC players. I feel so bad for console right now because there's not many other alternatives for you guys to play, but for PC players, please give this a play, populate the servers, and make it known that this is just a fantastic experience. These guys had five years to go ahead and put this together. And honestly, that's just around about the same amount of time that these DICE developers have to put these games together. Usually they have like, what, three to four years? I would say four years max and stuff like that to put together a Battlefield game these guys had five years uh, a small team you know what like 30 something people i believe on this team consistently working on it i believe it's a little bit more but i think originally it's just around 30 people dice has 200 300 400 plus individuals working on the game at a time they can get any crap out these guys they took the battlefield 3 gameplay and engine completely remodeled everything about it they did their own work to it it's not like they just copied and pasted it's not like they copied their homework no they did everything on their own their own work on this project, and they made it 10 times better than a core Battlefield experience. Mind-blowing, mind-blowing. This is why I always give indie developers the props that they deserve because they're actually passionate about their projects. Thank you guys for putting out this reality mod. This is truly going to be something, you know, next level for the Battlefield community. I'm going to try my butt off to be able to get my DLC to download. Trust me, this isn't the end for me yet. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting here for hours more trying to get this DLC to install because I am 110% going to get into this experience. And you best believe this is going to be one of the main things I'm grinding out for a long time. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. If almost I hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new, enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me, there's two ways to do so. Twitter and Discord, both linked down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams of video games, do over on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.